everybody, welcome back to the this next installment of Lazy Sunday Gaming with Rolling Monkey. Finally got the name right. I'm not sure what episode we're at, and it's been a while since I've played this. Last time I created all those videos and back in April. This is July 1st. Um, so the 1.10 patch has just been released a few days ago, and I saw some of the new features, you know, there's some graphical changes and a uh, bunch of new things like the motorcycle apparently is no longer here. We have a hover bike, so I will definitely be trying that. So once again, I'm not exactly, I don't have anything planned per se. I'm just going to go, go about and do things. So, and as usual, I am drinking while playing. So if you hear slurping, that's me enjoying my drink. I also wanted to get reacquainted with my base and everything. Like I said, I haven't played this in a couple of months at least. So I was I needed to try my new mic. I had to change it again because the old one was not well. The the old new one I had was not quite what I anticipated. So I found a better one. Okay, so I'm kind of hungry. So let's get some of these resources in here. We have a lot of plant protein, that's good. Let's see if our garden has grown. Oh nice, some of them have grown. Okay, good. So this natural stimulant, oh, might as well harvest them now. Ooh, grain is good. Corn hasn't finished yet. Pumpkins, not yet. Aloe vera. Yes. So it says press F to pick up herbal leaf. You know it's ready. And the great things about these is that they you don't keep, you have to keep replanting them. Once they're planted, they will keep producing until, well, you destroy them or uh, they run out of air or, or light. So as long as you keep your base powered, you'll be fine. So let's put all these in here. And let's make ourselves a couple of hamburgers. Meat burgers. Nice. Okay. So, let me just go reassess where I was. Oh, yeah, okay. I'd finished all the gentry walkway here. Yeah, I've forgotten these. <laughs> okay, I do have my shuttle and my hover vessel. Good. I'm going to try this motorbike for sure. Let's see if the burgers are done. Apparently not. We've got to make cheese. And then we'll be making hamburger. It is pretty windy today. Sheesh. Hope you can hear that. Oh, well, we'll find the burger... Uh, cooks. Let's try that new hover bike. So they completely changed it. I thought they, they would even give you the choice between the motorbike or the hover bike, but apparently it's just a hover bike now. So, which is kind of cool. I mean, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks pretty neat. The model, I like it. Let's see how it handles. How do you get on it? Enter. Okay, so F. Okay, so you can you can adjust how high you want it to go. Okay, cool. I'm just using uh, well, sh space to go up and C to go down. I don't see why you, I don't see why you would want to go this close to the ground, but let's try it. Okay, let's see. Whoa, it doesn't like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this is so jittery. Oh, my computer does not like that. It has to do with the graphics settings I have, but... Okay, 
Right, so that's strafing. Okay, so this is first person. It sounds cool, it controls cool, but this is unbearable. So I'm not gonna even gonna test that. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it doesn't do that with all the other vehicles as well. It's a regular. Never had any problems with this one. Okay, this one is still good. So maybe it's just a something weird with my graphics settings or something. I don't know. So let's. There's a way. Okay. There it is. Okay, so this one's still working fine. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's nice. Well, I was would have loved to try that hover bike, but uh, right now we'll just have to put that on the back burner. But did say something about the. The sand getting a new texture. Let's see if. Well, let's turn this off first. This one. We might as well go visit our water generators. Do I have any? Of course I don't. Oh, this is new. Okay, it's a new um, icon for the armor. Cool. Okay, so let's. To get some biofuel so I can replenish the water generators. <laughs> oh, burgers. All right, back to 500 food. That's weird looking. Okay, they're close by. I can't just can't see them at the moment. completely ran out of juice. <laughs> and just as I feared. Great. First playthrough in a new patch and I already find a hole in the world. for this noise to the old noise. It's a lot quieter. <laughs> huh. Okay, might as well grab some more vegetables. Ooh, more grain. They can't make any more burgers, but they require cheese. And I think you can synthesize milk with proteins, I believe, in water. So, okay. 
Okay, so we're good on that. We went to space, I remember that. Okay, I did all the ones that were far except for this one apparently. And this one. Oh, it's carbon meteorite. Huh. If it's still there. Meteorites tend to dis um disappear after you log off. So not be the case, it might not. We'll see. Dig science supply depot. Okay. Let's go back to base. And I want to make myself a better vessel, but I also said I would be doing a bigger other vessel, and I haven't, so maybe today would be a good... Oh, I didn't see the, the new texture on the beach, so I'll try that. There's some over there to the, to the west, right there. So let's leave it on. Go to... Unload everything we just got. Titanium and water. Well, it's got water in here already. I'll put the rest of it here. Biofuel. I'm not going to be using that. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, I've got 37 growing plot concrete. Sweet. <laughs> I, was, I was not expecting that much. I uh, should plant some more stuff downstairs then. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I've got pumpkin, corn, aloe vera, Phoenix fern from. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at uh, milk. Okay, all you need for that is plant protein and purified water. As long as I have these two, I can make milk, and then with milk I can make cheese, and with cheese I can make a cheeseburger right there. Meat burger, sorry. So one meat, one bread, and one cheese. So meat, you have to find it. Oh no, you can still use plant protein for it. Yeah, plant protein and vegetables. So if you have plant proteins and vegetables and grains, then you have everything to survive. So it's just nice. Well, oh, there's so many things I want to see now. Oops. Once again, this is just my very basic vessel construction. It's just the bare minimum of what you need for flying around. Like I said, it's just to go back to get your ships if you you know you get killed in outer space or close by at a different point of interest. Then Oh yeah, they did change the sand quite a bit. The texture for it is different. Cool. I like the sound of the waves crashing. It's nice. Ah, that's nice. All right, back to business. Let's gather some of these resources because, like I said, all resources very nice. <laughs> Okay, we're still friendly with the, uh, whoa, the Talon. Oh, I should put some, uh, not parts, but landing gear on this one, so it actually can 
land on this platform and actually um, so right now I'm not touching the ground yet as you can see I'm still hovering over it a little bit a little bit off so I just leave it on and as you go down it keeps it it's still in the air right now so let's make ourselves a few uh, landing gear So we can get this going. Where is my landing gear? Aha. Docking pad. I'm sorry. It's what, docking pad is what it's called. Let's do four. For the small vessel, it's a landing gear, I believe. so much stuff I have to yeah small vehicle landing gears okay that's different well, let's see if the other have matured yet and I can always put some more here yeah let's do that one two three one two three okay yeah still growing still growing okay Hopefully this is not as loud as it used to be. That's my hope anyway. Alright. So let's get this one done. I do have the plots. Let's put it down here. I have the grow lights. Good. Okay. Okay. And just like that, I've expanded my garden by 15 plots. So one light will do three by three. So technically I need two. So let's see what we can plant. I think I have any. No, I don't. Okay, so aloe vera, pumpkin sprout, corn sprout. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. So that's the seeds. Ooh, buds, those are very difficult to come by. They're very, they're kind of rare. And every time I click once, I get two of those. So those are good for first aid. Mm. Coffee plant, I don't really care for that. Mushroom is also very good. Spice, spice is good for cooking. So having one of those though won't, won't hurt. So that's four, eight, ten. I, need, I get five more, but I've already gotten some in my bag. One, two, three, four. So I'll be getting close to. Oh, that's nice. Confetti moss scraping. Okay. I could put the other materials back. Okay, nice. Big alien flower, mushroom sprouts. That's all I can make, really. What am I missing? 
nutrient solution. Ah. We do nutrient solution by having spoiled food. So I might have some in my... I do, too. So we'll put it down there, and then... Maybe I can make it through here. Stone dust, purified water, and spoiled food. As long as I have my plant protein, okay. Stone dust, okay. I'm out of... Let's get, let's put some stone dust back here. Or at least some stone. Uh, there you go, half. There we go, better. Huh, I just noticed. The big alien flower sprout and the alien plasma ZR1 share the same... Well, it's a slightly different. This one has a stem, where well, this one doesn't, but... It's the same model. Come on. <laughs> okay. I was making two more of something else. What was it? It's not made yet. Oh yeah, it was this one. I guess it didn't produce it. Let's do it again. So let's go plant the other ones while we wait for this one to get done. Pumpkins are, they get pretty tall. Aloe vera is pretty short. Corn is pretty tall. So let's do the tall one first and then the shorter ones in the front. Okay, good. I think I'll put a glass partition in here just to isolate the whole thing. That's way it could look cooler for, for uh, maintenance and all that. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then let's do the mushrooms. One, three, four. Okay, I've got the aloe vera. So once all of these are gonna be producing, that's gonna be sweet. Definitely could change the color of these walls too. Just to gray it does the job, but just kind of bleh. All right, let me see. Sprout, sprout. Okay, there's no notes that it's not growing. So for right now, everything is going swimmingly. I could put some more down here too. Oh, grains are done. See how much corn gives us 12 grain every time you harvest it? It's neat. Yeah, is this ready? No, not yet. Hey. Oh yeah. The docking pad should be done now. There we go. Let's put it here. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I made a mistake. <laughs> Those docking pads are for hover vehicles. So we will do it on the hover vehicle. And I'll have to do landing gear for the small vehicle. So let me do that right now. Get those going while we work on this. I'm sure I can do it though. I don't think I've unlocked it. Yeah, so let's unlock it first. Uh, this one. Tech tree, small vessel. Landing gear, there we go. So let's do four landing gear. Okay. But we will do it on the hover vehicle. 
which is the same deal. Let's put it up. This one is not as high as the hover vehicle. So let's do the that's going to do you can hear a, a, well not a click but a beep that means that I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll show you hear that that means that it's now docked to it so if this was a vessel you could take off and it this would stick to it if you don't then you're gonna lose yep. see how it clicked again There you go. Let's see if those were making something. I don't recall if they were or not. No. Okay. Huh, this is unusual for me. Nice. The landing gear done. Now for these, like many, many things in this game, you have different models depending on what you're looking for. So you can have the like the docking pad, which is the one I like most of the time for smaller vessels because they just don't. The deployable ones, I don't know, it just seems a bit much for something that's this small. So it doesn't matter if you put the in front of the thruster jet, it won't it won't matter. So So let's see. Let's try to dock this one. There you go. And we're back. So now those are docked dockable. Cool. Nice. I'm very tempted. Let's grab all the re the rest of all the resources here. Why? Because I feel like it. Although the ship's gonna be faster and easier. Let's do that. Oh god, did I ever mention that I love this drill? <laughs> if I haven't, I love this drill. <laughs> Whoa. How the hell did that happen? I guess I came here before. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's just glitchy because it's a new patch, so some of the chunks of the world have not generated properly. One down. Mm -mm. 
You know what, I'm gonna leave it on. So I can have a source of light. <laughs> yeah, I started this one already. It sounds like something I would do, especially with the uh, survival tool. Let's just. It takes like three ticks to get one bit of resource, where the regular drill is just one tick. That's how you get out of the hole. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't plug the last one. Well, let's do it now. There you go. the sun already so for another 30 seconds at least and I love this drill Oh wow, it's really windy again. Let's see what's left. Two copper deposits. Yeah, the opposite. There's one here. Where's the other one? Oh, it's up north. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Grab this one and then we'll go get the other one. Okay, cool. Oh, that was a small deposit, jeez. It was done under a minute, wow. I'm not gonna fill the hole, I'm not likely to be back here, not with something that can fall down the hole anyway. Since the hover bike does not work on my machine. <laughs> There's one more deposit. Carbon meteor. Okay, it's still pinging. So let's go. Cool. Let's see what it looks like inside the cockpit here. Instead of having a an outside view, because once you're in it, what's what I think it's cool is that one when, when you're in it, you just look around like that too. I'm on autopilot, so you can still look around it. So just to, to to go free like that, just press Alt and you can look around, which I think is kind of cool. I can still beep the detector. Oops, sorry. I was readjusting my position on my chair.
So it's another small copper deposit. It says let's see if it's bigger than the last one. It was about the same size as the last one. Oh, it's cold now. Five degrees Celsius. Okay, see how all the resources, all the deposits have been depleted now. So that means from now on, the only way we can get resources on this particular planet is to have a meteorite fall in. Which last time... There's a carbon meteorite over there, so let's see if it actually is there. Or if it's just a weird pinging issue. They'll find it cool, that, that giant blue ring on the horizon when the sun rises. It's cool. Oh, we can see the contrail for that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm surprised none of the trees have been burned by the meteorite. <laughs> Whoa. And there it is. Is there a lot of carbon in this thing? Yes, there's a lot of carbon in this thing. Yeah. Just look at the size of that. So let's try to see how... So it has a, a health bar. See how slow it is to deplete? How far is this from the base? That's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit far. But anyway, so you can always get, in, in this case it's carbon, sometimes it can be iron, uh, silicon, copper, so basically all the elements you would find normally on the planet if you've exhausted all the deposits, then you get uh, meteorites at from time to time. Or and also, if it turns out you ran out of uh, resources and you're needing more, you can always access the other three starter planets from this planet in the obelisks at the top. If you saw that episode, there were uh, there were four portals total. Well, one for each. There's one obelisk on each starter planet. And if you use those portals to travel back and forth, you can access other planets without having to actually build a small ship to get to it, which I don't think it's very difficult. But if it's your first time playing and you made mistakes or whatnot, then that would be one way to get to those planets. But I prefer to go with a, a smaller vessel because you get more storage, you have more resources, you have more, you have a better chance of surviving because some of these planets are really hostile. I guess I don't have the night vision goggles yet. Darn it. Ooh, small wreckage. Oh, there's new shadows now. Cool. Okay, that's a good placement. Let's see if there's anything of value here.
There's a cargo box. Okay. Anything else? No, okay. So let's do what we did last time. Take everything from under it. <clears throat> now the noise of the drill taking away the dirt should not be as bad as last time. I will verify that before recording more. funky looking so we were about to disassemble this whole structure now I've dug up everything under it so let's start dismantling at one point I'm pretty sure this will come down and probably in one big chunk it's gonna be very loud and I can just uh, recoup everything in one go so let's try it Well, it was several chunks, and it did work. <laughs> oh, this one I can't do it. That's weird. Oh. Great, now it's raining. It doesn't affect anything. Visibility is a bit reduced. Let's see. We made a car a few steel plates, so that's always good. Okay, there's kind of a misty. That's pretty cool. I don't remember that in the previous iteration of this. <clears throat> okay, so a small wreckage, plantation. Okay, let's head back to base. There it is. Now we have no more resources on this planet. So that'll force us to go to another planet. Whoa. That was loud. I wish it wasn't so loud out down here. <laughs> oh wow, the buds are already done. Purple leaves. Pumpkins are still growing. I've harvested the peppers twice. Okay, this space is not closed. It should not be six degrees in here.
it's the same temperature as inside. Something somewhere is not registering as being closed. That's if it's airtight. I think it's the doors. Yeah, let me replace those two. So to access the debug like we're so I'm looking at right now, you just press press N and go under debug and then show airtight blocks. It also show you if you had if I had ventilation. If I asked it to show oxygen, it would see it would see it would say O2 everywhere it has oxygen, but in case I don't. So Change though for real doors. There we go. <clears throat> the fact that I'm not hearing those doors are insulated. Ooh, they changed the force field too. Used to be more of a Flat color where now it's like a honeycomb thing. Okay. See how the temperature is risen up to 22 degrees right now? <clears throat> Which is much more pleasant than 6. Okay. So we do get... We did... We did get some... Materials and food and all kinds of stuff. So that's good. I'm gonna put these with the uh, the rest of the food. Since most of the medicine is made in the food processor. <clears throat> 